My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to fix the reflective glare, just like what's on my glasses. So here we have this uh, surprise gentleman, uh, and kind of has a little nasty glare blocking out his eye. And the thing is, is it's hard to kind of uh, fix the stuff like this when a lot of the information is washed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in over to the other eye. We're going to use the lasso tool and we're just going to kind of cut it out. And there we go. And you can hold shift uh, to, to add a little bit more. Or if there's too much, you can use alt or option hold it down and can cut off a little bit more and uh, then we're going to go to edit copy and then uh, edit paste so it pastes it up into a new layer and we're going to use the move tool and we're just going to grab it and place it right there Okay, but it looks a little weird, admittedly. So what we want to do is we want to go to the use the eraser tool and gonna right click to get into the brush options and we're gonna use the soft round airbrush. And what you want to do is you want to kind of not even kind of touch it with the uh, round part. You just want to let the edges kind of soften it. And you can even uh, knock down the opacity a bit so you can. Get a little extra soft. I'm using a tablet so it makes it a little bit easier. But just kind of around the edges, just softening it up, making it look more like it's part of the picture. When removing glare from your photos, it's sometimes better to be proactive and take care of the glare before you take the photo. There, that looks like it's a part of the eye a bit. But it's a little dark, so we want to adjust that as well. You can use the opacity, but since the glare's there, it's still going to get in the way. And now it kind of looks uh, just like the, you can see the more of the definition with the eye. In fact, it almost looks like it did before, so you don't really want to go that route. So one thing you can do is you can go to image. Uh, I'm going to go to levels because there's a lot more control. And I'm just going to play with this a little. Up the brightness a little. So it looks like it. Play with the shadows. Don't want to do too much with the shadow or the gray. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe add a little bit more brightness since it's uh, supposed to be a little bit lighter side of the face and kind of soften that edge a little bit more so it looks more natural and there you go that's how you cover up glare in Photoshop my name's Aaron Croman look me up on Google and keep that glare out of your loved one's eyes